We are currently heading into the morning of the 9th of June 2021 in the Western Pacific. Got a few areas out there, but the key thing is our monsoonal low that looks like it's going to be developing here. Likely going to be more of a monsoonal gyre, if you will out here towards the west of the Philippines moving into southern China by this weekend. By the way, there is still Invest 91W that is way out there towards Quaj, Kwajalein and uh, east of Chuk. I mean, we're talking about near the international dateline. It's still being carried as an invest, but to be all honest uh, with you, uh, I'm not really enthused about it right now, but you know, we're going to keep an eye on it. Some long range guidance still wants to pop something in the Philippines as we go ahead into next week. But it's all eyes on this guy. This this cluster of storms. I mean, my goodness, this is absolutely um, it's a hot mess. Let's just say that right now. Now, don't take my words uh, calling it a hot mess, meaning that it's not going to develop into anything. I think that there is a lot of moisture here. There is a low level center trying to organize here towards the northwest of Luzon. And if we do get some organization, this does have the potential to spin up a little bit here. Actually, take a look at this from June 7th through the 13th. Look at that. Pagasta does expect a low pressure area to develop there, maybe even off the east coast, but I think that's less likely than this. And then you see here from the 14th into the 20th, so we're talking about next week, <coughs> moving off there towards Hainan and into northern areas of Vietnam as well. So, you know, there's... um. There's potential here. Bagasa notices it. There, of course, is that convection, but also sea surface temperatures are running about one to two degrees above average out here, which is just conducive for tropical development, of course, but there's just that much more energy on top of what's already uh, available with that moisture coming in from the south. And you can see ASCAT imagery. Now, ASCAT imagery if you're unaware, is basically the polar orbiting satellite looks down at the waves and it kind of gives you a rough idea of what the wind direction is. And you can see right here, look at that. You have that southwesterly flow backing and churning towards back towards the northwest. That is counterclockwise rotation and it just shows me we kind of have the makings of a low pressure area out here. And now you can see this GFS 10 meter winds. Look at that southwest monsoon flowing into the west coast of Luzon, and you see how it starts to wrap. Now, if this wraps enough before it reaches Hainan and starts to interact with the friction there, you got the sea surface temperatures there. Maybe you get a little reduce in wind shear, which it's going to have to fight that because the monsoon does naturally bring a bit of wind shear. We could get that low level center to develop. But it typically is the case when it's so spread out, so disorganized like this. Um, it's hard for all that convection to consolidate. Basically, we have plenty of convection out here kind of fighting with each other instead of one big pocket. So when that happens, we get more of what we call a monsoonal gyre. And I think that's what's going to happen with this. It's going to be a very large wind field, a lot of rainfall. But the good news with monsoonal gyres, we typically don't see something like a, a super typhoon pop up. Could get to typhoon status, but with the winds spread out, that inner core, that, that machine just isn't available to develop and strengthen all too much. But like I said, it brings rainfall, not only for Hanan, which you can see here on the five day rainfall and over towards uh, northern areas of Vietnam. Oh my goodness, look at Laos. That could be some severe flooding if that model plays out. But also that moisture inflow is going to be enhanced coming in behind this into the west coast of Luzon down through Mindoro, even into Palawan as well, all because of that southwest monsoon. So, of course, before the arrival of a tropical cyclone, you know, know the information from official sources. I appreciate you watching this. And you know what? The fact that you're watching this video means you're interested, especially since we don't have a named storm system right now. But, you know, also remind your friends and family that's prepared to evacuate if needed. This even goes towards northern Vietnam if this does decide to go out in that direction, out towards Hanoi, and check and prepare. I think this goes without saying. This should be something always on your mind if you were anywhere, live anywhere in the tropics. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I need to do this, and I'm in uh, Florida. I need to check and prepare my emergency kit. All right, anyways. 
That's all for today's update. Um, stick around though. Let's talk about this. Patreon. Everybody who's just been helping me out here. Lisa Ferguson. I think Lisa, you're a swimmer. I'd have to guess that. Uh, the new typhoons here. Super typhoons as well. Tracy, Tammy. As well, I, Adam Young was our first super typhoon back when I... Uh, first announced this back in March and you guys have been on this side have been helping me out for several months now I can't thank you enough you are all legends if you guys want to get in on this I'm gonna have weekly behind the scenes little vlogs and stuff that I'm only gonna post on patreon but this is the big thing you know the vlogs aside we're getting closer to this oh I can't wait to have this graphic it's gonna be awesome it is gonna be awesome and this one here stuff like that I'm gonna just spend a lot of time on my weekends you know, some people play video games, some people maybe go out hiking and stuff. I'm going to be just geeking out with this graphic package once we get it in the Patreon. You guys, that helps. You know what else helps? Hit that subscribe button. Share out the video. Maybe you got friends in uh, southern China, northern Vietnam, over towards Hong Kong. They have no idea about the weather. Shoot them a message. Share the video out. I appreciate that. All right. The key thing, as always, though is stay safe out there and thanks for watching. All right.